Today we're talking about how to optimize your pins so they actually show up in search. So the whole month of March, we have been talking about optimizations on Pinterest so you actually show up in search with your Pinterest images and videos and story pins and all of the above. So if you're interested in learning how to optimize your Pinterest images, where to put all those keywords and stick around because this quick tips video is for you. Now, if you've missed any of the other videos about how to optimize your profile, how to write Pinterest descriptions, how to find keywords, all of those, then click on up somewhere around here. There's a card with a playlist. Open that in a new window. You can consume that later. But for now, let's focus on how to actually optimize your Pinterest images so they show up in search because that's what we want. We've done our keyword research at this point and you are ready to make Pinterest images. But how do we make pins that are attractive and they, they there's a balance between how cute they are and people actually finding them in search and the algorithm knowing what they are. There's like all these little moving pieces, right? It's the Pinterest relevancy that we talked about in a previous video. That's where today's video comes in. So you've done your keyword research. You need that before you can do anything else. And you're gonna choose your main keyword that you wanna rank for, for your Pinterest image. So let's just start with one Pinterest image and one keyword that we wanna rank for. Now that one keyword that you wanna rank for is going to go in a couple of different places. If you are using text overlays, that one keyword is gonna go on your text overlay, okay? You are also going to use that keyword in your pin title and the first sentence of your pin description. Those three places are where you optimize your Pinterest image on the platform. So when you click down and click create pin and you put everything in the pin builder, you should have already put the pin main keyword on your text overlay if you're using Canva. If you're gonna build your Pinterest image with all the text overlay in the pin builder, which is lacking, to be quite honest. I would rather you use another tool. But if you're gonna do it in the pin builder and use their text overlay builder, that's fine. You can do that too. So place your text overlay on the pin with your main keyword, put that main keyword in your pin title and the first sentence of your pin description. And then you're gonna continue to fill in that description with other keywords that you wanna rank for on the platform that are also related to that Pinterest image. So this is where we take a look at one of my pins that I've created recently. And I actually created this one in March of 2021 as we're filming this to promote a lead magnet. Now, when I put this Pinterest image up, it was just for organic traffic. I just wanted to see what would happen organically, especially with all of the new indexing and everything that's going on with the Pinterest algorithm. I wanted to see how quickly it would get picked up. And much to my surprise, it did get picked up pretty quickly. And I got thousands of impressions and a good amount of clicks. A good amount of clicks for me on Pinterest is like 20 to 30 because I'm swimming in a big old sea of other marketers who are promising fast traffic. And that's hard to compete with. So I noticed the pin picking up steam a little bit. So I started promoting it to see what else would happen. And I just put like $2 a day behind it on Pinterest and ads. And it's so far gained 20,000 impressions, which we know don't really count for much. And 143 clicks with just a couple of bucks a day in ad spin. So I like the results so far. And the reason why I wanted to do this test with both organic and promoted is to see how Pinterest treated my pin and if it helped to index it. So I'm not giving, I'm not talking about promoting my pin for you to go out and do the same thing. You do not need to go and promote your pin for Pinterest to pick it up faster or index it faster. That's not gonna work. It has to be indexed first and then when you promote it, they will deliver it to the correct audience as long as all of the relevancy is correct. In my case, all of the relevancy was correct and my pin started delivering in the algorithm. It's still being promoted, so you can probably still find it on the platform right now if you go, if you go search for it. What does all of this mean? It means that I did my job right when I placed my text overlay, my pin title, and my pin description, and the other keywords that I used, as well as making sure that I paired it with the correct board when I pinned it to the platform the very first time. 
So that's how you're optimizing your pin for SEO. You're doing, you're putting your keywords in all the places I've already mentioned. And then you pin it to the correct board, right? So I'm gonna grab my notes. There's two ways you can see if your pin was optimized correctly. Number one, related pins. So on the platform, after your pin has had some time on the platform, it has been indexed. And from what we understand in the relevancy video that I filmed, which I can link again, is fresh content is getting almost an instantaneous indexing. So that's what they're moving towards. They're moving towards indexing your fresh content or your fresh pins almost instantaneously. We knew they were doing this with story pins because we would see a really huge jump in impressions and views right away. So they've started doing this with your regular static pins as well. You should be able to, within about 48 hours, maybe three days, go back to the platform and open up that Pinterest image on your screen in the big view, right? Where it's a pin click, it's a close up is what it used to be called. So it's in your little grid view on your profile. You're gonna click it once and it's gonna jump up on your screen in a bigger view. Then you're gonna scroll down underneath that pin to the related pins section. In the related pin section, you should see other pins related to your pin. Now in this little screen recording that I did, I actually have content marketing strategy pins in there. There's Instagram marketing. There's other Pinterest marketing content in there. And you will also notice some other pins that are related, but not exactly related. There's a lot of budgeting pins in this search result for some reason, or in this related section. That's not related to my pin at all. So Pinterest is still using some guesswork there for related pins. And that's based on my own search results and what I'm doing on the platform. That's not necessarily related to your pin, but it's related to your searches. So you should notice in your related pins section, probably a mix of content. They are serving up things that they think you might click on based on your search history, but they're also serving up pins that are related to your pin based on indexing. And that's from my own sleuthing or detective work. Bonus tip number two, so you can try and figure out how your pin was indexed, is to grab that pin URL from your logged in Pinterest account. In the, so you're in a close-up screen. At the top, grab that pin URL that's in the bar. Open up an incognito window and paste it in, and do not sign in. Leave yourself signed out, and you should see something like this, where you see those little tags right underneath the description over there? content marketing, business strategy, those tags are telling Pinterest users who are not logged in more about what this content is and how it's been indexed on the platform. So that's another way you can see how your pin has been indexed. So bonus little sneaky tip, you can log out and look at your competitors and even see what tags that they're getting applied to their own their content. That's it. It's really that simple. This video does not need to be super long because there is really not much else for me to talk about. So make sure you're using your keywords in your text overlay, your pin title, your pin descriptions. And I would even go as far as to say, use your pin description without hashtags and links in your alt text as well. That will help screen readers to have a better experience with your pin on the platform and to just make your overall customer experience a little bit better. So that's it for this week. I will see you in the next video. In the meantime, if you need more Pinterest marketing tips, head on over to our Pinterest marketing strategy playlist and consume. There's all kinds of good stuff there. And we'll see you next time. Bye.